Okay, so we're going to solve a word problem, and I want to illustrate the methodology that you can use to solve all word problems besides just solving this one that we're working on. This is in section 4.4, .4, number 45 from this book, Calculus by Finney, Damana, et al. It has to do with economics. It says if, you, if it costs you C dollars each to manufacture and distribute backpacks, if the backpacks sell at X dollars each and the number is sold as given by some equation, what selling price will bring a maximum profit? So let's use a structured methodology to make sure that we get all the information out of this problem correctly. The first thing is to figure out all the facts, all the things that we have been told that might be relevant to finding the answer. And I'm just going to list each of these facts one at a time. So cost, C dollars each, and they go for X dollars each. And there's this equation for the numbers sold involving, surprisingly, not surprisingly, X and C. And it says, what selling price will bring a, bring a maximum profit? So the thing we want to find, the answer is price. And as we know from our thing, X is price. So that's what we're looking for. Now, oftentimes in a word problem, there may be a lot of potential answers. There's one that's asked for, you have to give the answer they want. And there's no reason to do any, any work that would lead you in a direction not towards answering the specific question. So we want to find price. And we want to maximize profit. So now let's see if we can come up with a reasonable answer for this problem. The first thing is we have to decide what is profit. So before we can even get into math or calculus, we have to decide where does profit come from. Well, profit is equal to the amount that we generate minus the amount that we have to pay. So revenue minus cost. And so we have number sold N times the price is going to be our revenue. And cost is going to be C times the number sold. We can simplify this to be N times X minus C. So now we want to maximize profit. Now we can inst introduce some calculus to do the maximization. So we're going to take the derivative of profit with respect to the thing we want to find which is price x, and then we'll solve it. So now let's substitute in our convenient friend here, n, into this equation. So now we can simplify it. Before we take a derivative, let's simplify it. These here cancel, so we're left with a plus b times x minus c times 100 minus x. So we have 100x minus 100c minus x squared plus xc. So now we can take calculus into the equation. And we have to take the derivative of this thing. A, derivative of A is 0, obviously. The b comes outside. Derivative of 100x would be 100. Derivative of 100c is 0. 2x and c.
and to find the maximum point for x, we're going to let this equal 0. So now we can solve this, the b we can cancel, so we have 100 minus 2x plus c equals 0. Let's pull the x on one side, so we have 2x is equal to 100 plus c, x equals 100 plus c over 2. So that's the answer. We answered the question, find price. We're done. Now, the same methodology that we've used here will apply anywhere. The key is to first organize what you're given, all the facts. It's like a CSI investigation, just the facts. And then decide what is the answer? What do we have to find? And then go through and set it up. Many times the hard part is just setting up the equation, understanding the relationship of the different components before, cal <clears throat> before calculus ever enters the equation. So this is one example of how to solve a word problem in calculus. If there are other calculus problems, either from this textbook or other textbooks, that you can't solve, and it's midnight, and where do you turn? Turn to MidnightTutor.com. Send us an email. Go to the site. Send an email with the problem statement. We'll post a video on that site within 24 hours with the answer.